Hello to my mini lap. It's where I'm soldering currently. Uh, currently, I'm soldering this new JTAC board. It's our uh, latest board, and uh, we will probably release this, but uh, now I have to solder it and test it. And you'll see I have different components. I've grabbed them from my uh, stock, and uh, I got the most useful uh, tools like tweezer, uh, helper, and some uh, vacuum. Uh, positioner. I've got some grease flocks and uh, the components. These are 0603 resistors and uh, I've got some other components a U U USB connector and some different parts. So, uh, some crystals and uh, these are going to be mounted on this PCB. Over here, I have my uh, soldering station, which is temperature regulatable, and currently this is uh, cooling off because uh, I've just soldered this uh, tiny pitch uh, FTDI USB uh, JTAC chip using drag soldering method. So that's with this tip. Um, so now I'm going to let this cool off and then switch to this uh, fine pitch uh, tip instead so I can uh, solder the rest of the SMD components. So uh, this is going to be funny to see if it uh, works. I hope so. So uh, that's just a, uh, yeah, an overview of my uh, working place. So now I got the board soldered together. Unfortunately, I've uh, bought uh, the T sub version of this uh, EE prom, so I had to make some uh, <laughs> minor adjustments to the uh, EE proms uh, pin, the EE prom pins. But uh, I think it works. But uh, let's see. Now it's uh, soldered, so uh, let's get in and uh, connect it to our computer. Finally, some uh, signs of life. Here we have our JTAC board with uh, the IOs from the FTDI chip. And uh, then I've made uh, a Visual Basic application, you'll see here on the computer, that uh, currently it just connects to the FT, uh, uh, FT driver, it's the uh, D2X to write to the IOs. Um, so I can both write and I can also read. Uh, so now if we uh, click set all low, you'll see that they go low, and if I click set all IO high, they go high. So uh, I can also click set random, and then it just turns some of them randomly on. So this is using the FTDI D2XX DLL, but I'm going to uh, check the uh, FTC JTAC DLL2 to see how that works. But uh, IO works now for the JTAC. After a long time of messing around, I finally got uh, the uh, Universal JTAC programmer working. So uh, now I've programmed this uh, LPC board to just uh, blink a LED but uh, it works quite well uh, currently I'm using open OCD which you can see here so if I for example now it's connected to the LPC if I uh, write scan chain then uh, you'll see the uh, LPC CPU here um, and uh, then I can uh, hold it I can reset it and such and it's working quite well. So uh, I can use Open OCD, but uh, I'm going to make a program myself to to just to check if it's possible to use uh, the FT and uh, FTC JTAC DLL file to program it too. But uh, let me show you uh, how it works. Uh, here we have the board, uh, which is our JTAC programmer, Universal JTAC programmer board. And um, 
it's connected by USB and uh, then it has this uh, JTAG port which is uh, universal which means it can go from uh, as low as uh, 1.5 volt to uh, about 5 volt um, so uh, this is especially uh, ide this is ideal when uh, dealing with FPGAs but uh, this is connected to the LPC JTAG port and uh, then using uh, a special FT uh, driver uh, on Windows it's the open source driver you can connect it to uh, open OCD so uh, here if you for example uh, type out I have to uh, set the config moment oh not that uh, TRST only it can be both too yes and then we can uh, type reset in it and we'll see that the LED stops blinking TKJ Production